Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Disney Pixar's Incredibles 2 Junior Supers Tunneler playset. So this is seen kind of at the very end of the last movie and I believe the second movie is going to pick up at the exact same spot. Kind of a new supervillain emerges from underground called the Underminer. And he is right here. You get a little Underminer figure with this set, which I think is fantastic. And then this is his Tunneler vehicle. So as you can see, the box does boast some special features. Super drilling action. You can shoot the little uh, tip of the drill. You can extend this little platform. And then it says Launch Boiler. So we'll have to take a look at what that all does. But yeah, these are made by Jack Specific. And I think uh, all the Jack Specific toys so far have been pretty good. So I'm very excited to take a look at this. Taking a look at the back. Again, it just kind of boasts some of the same things with the rotating drill and the firing uh, cap and then the extending platform and all that kind of stuff. So the back just says Incredibles 2 brings back everyone's favorite family of superheroes in an exciting, hilarious, and heartfelt super sequel. This new chapter sees Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, Violet, Dash, and Jack-Jack encounter -Jack brand new anemesis that puts the family's powers to the ultimate test. So it's the same little blurb that's on the back of literally every package of these junior super toys. Um, you can see here on the bottom, this is the Hydro Liner playset, this large boat. Uh, I do have that. I'll review that at some point. Uh, we've already taken a look at Mr. Incredible and the Incredibile. Um, I decided to pass on the Elastacycle and Elastigirl just because I think she looks weird the way they have her sit on the bike. And I already have this figure from the two packs. So I passed on this, but this car is great and I'll review this a little bit later on. So that's pretty much it for the packaging here taking a look at the bottom not really anything going on there so let's go ahead and get this out of the packaging here so we can take a closer look all right so the tunneler playset comes with everything you see here first we're going to check out the underminer really nice figure um i will say to be a little careful with the head i went to turn his head and it completely popped off and scared me to death but luckily it didn't break i all i had to do was pop it straight on so just be a little careful when handling his head. It is supposed to do side-to-side -side movement, which you can see there. Uh, I turned it and it just came off in my hand. I think it just wasn't pushed down enough, but it seems to be okay now. Standard shoulders, although his shoulders in and out don't really do all that much. They're kind of hindered by how the joint in the shoulder is made, but you can certainly go all the way around, which is nice. Um, again, hindered a little bit by the cape, but I think the cape is a really nice touch. It's definitely a softer plastic, but I think it looks good. And he does have a uh, wrist swivel at these crazy giant uh, glove cuffs. And then he can also sit. But his legs are pretty stocky. So it's not, you can't really tell the difference of him standing and sitting. But overall, I think he's a great looking figure. Love the cape. Love the design. Uh, you know, the shoulder articulation is not that amazing. But it doesn't really bother me. I feel like you get as much as you need. He comes with a host of accessories here. He's got his little microphone for when he's making his... Uh, loud um, declarations and, and declaring war on the city. He comes with a little shovel, which makes sense because he digs. You can hold it either way. It doesn't fit as amazing in his hand this way, but you still can hold it that way. And then he comes with a little pick, which I think is pretty cool. I appreciate that he actually comes with some accessories. I think that's pretty cool. And he can hold all three of them. Looks very good. So I like this guy a lot. I like his little microphone. So we'll leave that in his hand. But going to put him off to the side real quick. So we can take a look at the tunneler. Uh, this is the kind of nose comb piece. The tip to the drill. So you're just going to come in here and pop that in. And then if you want to fire it, it's this big red button here. But real quick, I wanted to show you that the one of the big features... Here, when the wheels move, it spins the drill. So you can see how the drill moves. And it's kind of cool that they did kind of two shades of gray plastic here on the drill to kind of accentuate the movement, which I think is kind of neat. I wish this was some color gray. Being really big and red looks a little weird. Oh, and you can kind of see I've put it on backwards. See how there's a lip here that's shown. And this extends a little bit. So you can fire it with the red button. And it fires very well. But if you want it to look a little bit less weird, you can see how the pin is not necessarily... Whoops. The pin is not necessarily centered. There's kind of a large lip over here. So 
the large lip goes on this side. So if you put it over here, it just looks a little bit more natural. But it still spins all around, so at some point it's going to look a little out of place. I, I, I think it's a safety regulation. That's why this has to be red, because it's a projectile. It was either that or orange. But it would have been nice if it was gray, so it would have blended in with the rest of the drill. But I still really like the rolling drilling function. I think that's pretty cool. Very similar to how the Incredibile um, had the flame on the back that would spin as you drove it. So at this point, you have this pretty cool little vehicle, but it can open up into a playset. So what you're going to do is, here at the middle, you can see there's a seam and it just opens up. So I'm going to spin it back around this way. And so basically you get these like little steps leading up into this main section. You have a pretty cool, I'm assuming this is like a computer console. It's probably how he drives, but also it looks like it has a screen on here. Uh, so he can see what's going on outside. And if you come around to this side and you press this red button, this part springs open and this part falls backwards. Now another piece is going to come into play in a minute. But this is kind of the whole open playset. You can also extend this out. Basically what you can do first is take your underminer and he does have a peg in the bottom of his foot. So you can have him, I guess you could, yeah, you kind of, I guess because he only has a peg in one side of his foot, you kind of have to peg him on this way. So this would be him inside. Let me get him pegged on here. I have to kind of line up this peg hole, which apparently I'm having difficulty doing. It might be easier. You can actually extend this platform. I don't know if anyone else thinks this kind of looks like a Ritz cracker to me. <laughs> there we go. A little bit easier to do it this way. So once he's pegged on there, he's on pretty good. And you can have him like this, so it looks like he's driving the car. And then just to show you, this does close around him, so he does fit in there. And then you can put this back up, and now he can drive around. And you kind of have to keep them in that spot just because of those, um, the stairs on the side. If I close one side, you'll see how he kind of is meant to fit in there. I mean, you could probably lay him down in here or something and it would probably still work. But just for example, if I were to press the button and then you could see what it looks like. There's not a ton of extra space in there once it's all closed up. So he kind of has to exist in the space that they give you. But if you open this all up, so you have this playset, like I said, you have your steps over here. This platform can extend. You just lift this up, and that rotates, and I will swivel this up so you can see. I don't think this spins, no. So if you wanted him to face a different way, you could kind of move him around on the peg and give him his microphone back. So I like that. I think that's pretty cool. That's kind of how he displays himself when he comes out of the ground at the end of the first movie and, you know, starts shouting into his microphone that he's there to cause havoc. So I think that's pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, then you can definitely put him back and bring this all down. You might want to move his accessories. Let me fix this. So when you have him down all the way, it's a little bit hard for him to hold the accessories, but you certainly can have him there driving. The last thing that he comes with that I haven't really shown off yet is this boiler, which obviously I believe is what powers the tunneler vehicle. You can see it has this little extension here like it's a missile, so you're gonna plug it into this spot right here. So you plug that in, and then that's kind of his boiler, it's what powers it. So I'm gonna close this back up. And I guess technically you could put the extra accessories in here. They would fit. And then I'm going to push this up and close this back. Okay, so now he's in his tunneler vehicle. So what's supposed to happen? And I'm guessing this is pure conjecture. But um, I'm guessing this might be how they stop him in the movie. So if you press this, it does make that flip open. Now this won't automatically fly out. You have to really push this in. And like push it all the way in and keep it in. And then the boiler will explode out. So it's kind of nice because you can put the boiler in. And if you just want to open this, say for the playset, you can just kind of tap it. And that'll just open up, but this won't fire. But you have to push this like all the way in. 
and then it'll fire out. So I'm guessing because the boiler kind of explodes and it has this feature, it might be how they stop him in the movie. Perhaps they, you know, make his boiler explode and that's what causes his vehicle to short out or something. Just a, again, just a guess. But I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a fun little vehicle slash playset. I really do think it's nice. It has the exploding boiler feature. It has the driving drill feature. And it also has the uh, front tip of the drill firing feature. As well as the extendable uh, platform here. As well as these three accessories for underminer to wield. So I think that's really cool. I think it's a lot of uh, play features. I think it's pretty cool. This set retails for about $25, but again, if you're at Toys R Us and you can get 30% off, you know, that's $7.50 off, so now you're down, to, actually, was it, I think it was $25, yes, I believe it was $25, for a second I thought maybe it was $30, but no, I think it's $25, so you could get um, $7.50 off with 30% off, and then you're down to uh, $17.50, so pretty good. I definitely think it's worth that price. Uh, let me see if I have. I just wanted to grab another figure for fun just to show you. You know, you can have some of the other guys use these stairs. Um, you know, they can kind of interact with the playset. And just to show you a quick size comparison of the Underminer to, say, Mr. Incredible. He's definitely a little bit shorter, but I think that's just because the character is shorter in the movie. So very cool. I definitely think this is a really fun line. I've been enjoying it so far. And I definitely think this vehicle slash playset is worth it. For even, even I think $25 is fair. But especially with the sales at Toys R Us right now. Uh, getting 30% off I think makes this a steal. And I definitely think it's worth picking up. Especially if you're a fan of The Incredibles or you have small kids who are a fan of The Incredibles. I think there's a lot of fun to be had with this little playset. You have the nice figure, the nice accessories. One, two, three, uh, four distinct play features, plus even just to use it as a vehicle to kind of close it up and close all this up and then to just use it as a fun, you know, underground driller. I think there's a lot of fun to be had with this, so I like it a lot. I really do. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd like to hear your opinions. Please like and share the video and please subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Incredibles 2 Tunneler playset uh, from the Junior Supers line from Jack Specific. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.